Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at some more examples of using ref to solve systems of equations. So to use ref or reduced row echelon form in our calculators, we first had to take our system, get it in standard form, and then rewrite it as a matrix. We did that for these couple of examples in a previous video, so we'll link to that here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is put our matrix into the calculator. So we're gonna do that by going into our matrix menu and going over to edit. Click on whichever matrix you want to put it in. We'll start with A. And you need to first enter the dimensions. So this matrix has one, two rows. So it is a two by. And then I've got one, two, three columns. So this is a two by three. Then we just go ahead and enter our values. So negative four, negative two, six, and two, negative five, eight. All right, take a look at it, double check that you've got it in there correctly, and then back to our home screen, we'll enter the matrix menu again, this time going over to math, and then finding ref. Now remember, ref is actually towards the bottom, so you can actually instead hit the up arrow, then go to REF for ref, and pull the matrix that you want. Our matrix is sitting in A, so we'll hit enter to bring that. So we're gonna reduce row echelon form matrix A, and here we have it. Now notice here, the values that we have for our actual answers are these nice long decimals, okay? We don't wanna give our answers as decimals unless we have to. We would like to give them instead as fractions. So even with a matrix, you can do that by using your decimal to fraction. And so the way to do that is to hit the math button that's right above matrix, so math. And then the first option that you can see right here is kind of an arrow that says go to fraction. So we're gonna hit that and then hit enter, and it will take any decimals in your matrix that can't be turned into a fraction and do that for you. All right, remember the way that we read reduced row echelon form is this first row says one X plus zero Y, or just X equals, and then we have negative seven over 12. And then our second row says zero X's, plus one y, or just y, equals, in this case, negative 11 over six. So taking that and writing our solution as an ordered pair, we have negative seven over 12, comma, negative 11 over six. All right, let's check out our next one. So here's our next system. I'm gonna start by going ahead and clearing out my main screen. I need to enter this matrix into my calculator. So I'm gonna go into the matrix menu. Now I could go in and type over matrix A, but just so we can have multiple matrix matrices going at the same time, I'm actually gonna put this matrix in matrix B. So going down just a little bit to B, when I bring that up, I'm gonna again need to start by telling the calculator what dimensions the matrix I have R. This has two rows and three columns, so that's gonna be a two by three. And then just type in your values. So 12, 16, negative 10, and six, eight, 20. All right, double check, make sure you've got it in there, and then again, grab ref. So back in the matrix menu, over to edit, nope, over to math. Again, it's a little faster to hit the up arrow to go find RREF or ref. And this time we want a ref matrix B. So this one is in B, so bring that along and hit enter. Okay, so this one looks a little bit different. Remember when we normally do row reduced echelon form, we have one zero and a number, zero one and a number, okay? And that top row usually tells us what X is equal and that bottom row tells us what Y is equal. Notice here we have something else. We have one, a number, 
and then zero. And then in the bottom row, we have zero, zero, one. So when you get something like this, it doesn't really matter what the top row looks like, but when the bottom row says zero, zero, one, that means we have an inconsistent system. Remember, inconsistent systems means we have no solutions. Okay, so again, inconsistent system. That means that our two lines, if we were to graph them, are parallel, and therefore they do not cross. They do not have an intersection point or a solution. So when we see this 0, 0, 1 in our second row, that means no solutions, inconsistent system. All right, final example for this video, let's take a look at what if we have more than two equations. So like I said in a previous video, we took this system here and we put it in this matrix and the calculator can do any system that you want it to. So it can handle this in no more time than it took to do those other two equation systems. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this matrix in matrix C. Dimension-wise, this is a one, two, three row by one, two, three, four column matrix, so a three by four, and now I'm just entering in my values, four, four, one, 24, two, negative four, one, zero, five, negative four, negative five, 12. Okay, always do yourself the favor of checking that you've entered it in correctly. You don't have any mistypes. Looks good to me. Now we'll use ref. So over to the math menu, hit up, go to option B, R, R, E, F. We are working with matrix C. So back into the matrix menu, go down and select matrix C. Close your parentheses and hit enter. Okay, here, this is kind of the same idea. We've got three variables now. So our top row, 1004, is telling us that our first variable is equal to four. So x equals four. The next row, zero x's plus one y plus zero z's equals two. So that's y equals two. And then our third row, zero, zero, one, zero. So that means zero X's plus zero Y's plus one Z equals zero. All right, so when we write solutions to a three variable system, we write those as an ordered triple X comma Y comma Z. So our solution would be four, two, zero. All right, guys, that does it for this video on more examples of using REF to solve systems of equations. Until next time, we'll see you later.